Right now, there's an AI tool that's making it possible for anyone to create viral documentary style videos with professional grade animations. I'm talking about the kind of visuals you'd see on channels like TED Ed that used to take months of work and big budgets to produce, the kind of videos that make complex topics engaging and rack up thousands of views with ease. And here's the crazy part. I created this video using that exact tool check it out in the 19th century armenians in the ottoman empire lived as second-class citizens they paid unfair taxes were barred from testifying in court and often faced violent attacks when armenian activists pushed for reforms in 1878 sultan abdul hamid ii refused and instead between 1894 and 1896 unleashed the hamidian massacres killing over 150,000 armenians but this was only the beginning. Armenians are one of the oldest peoples of Western Asia, with a homeland dating back to the 6th century BCE. By the time of the Ottoman Empire, their deep Christian identity made them targets in a Muslim-majority state. Despite thriving in trade and government, their success fueled resentment. Many Ottomans feared Armenians would seek independence. That fear became deadly during World War I, after a failed campaign against Russia, Ottoman leaders blamed Armenian treachery. Cool, right? The tool is called Recraft, and it's not just another image generator. This is the first AI tool I've seen that can replicate those sophisticated animated documentary styles, something even tools like Mid Journey still can't do. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how I used Recraft to bring that video to life step by step. Let's dive in. To get started, head over to their website. The link is in the description. Recraft offers a free plan so you can test it out with zero commitment. However, if you want to use it for commercial purposes, you will need a paid plan so you are aware. Let's see how this tool works and test the latest model as well. Once you are on the website login, if you already have an account or sign up for one and you are introduced to this interface, Recraft is a powerful and versatile image generation and editing tool designed for creators that can be used for a variety of creative projects. But in today's video, I'll be focusing specifically on how to use it to generate stunning visual for your faceless YouTube videos, especially animated history documentaries. On the left hand side, you'll see a few tabs. Let me quickly explain them projects. This is where all your projects are stored. If you're new, you won't see anything here yet apart from different templates. You can click into these templates to see instructions on what each feature does. We'll come back to this later when we start creating images. Community, this houses all the images created by other people in the Recraft community. You can sort by categories like photorealism, illustration, vector art or icons. If you need inspiration, this is a great place to browse. Styles, here you'll find saved and shareable styles. The feed shows you a wide range of styles based on your filter. You can filter by raster, vector, photorealism, illustration, or graphic design, depending on your project. Since we're creating something related to documentary video, I will filter for illustrations. If you like a particular style, you can click on it. This will open an example of what that style looks like and suggest similar styles. To keep one, just click save style and it'll be added to your personal folder. You can also go back at any time. Saved styles will appear under the saved tab. These are the ones I personally saved or tested before. You can also create your own style. I'll show you how once we start building our images and if you share a style with someone else it will appear under shared favorites. If you've marked any design or style as a favorite it will show up here. Mine is currently empty but this is where you'll find everything you've personally favorited and finally this section shows all the images you've generated so far. 
Now to start creating our first image, click on create a new project. Before we start generating images, it's important to mention that the documentary story we will be generating images for, I've already created using ChatGPT5 and I asked it to break the story into image prompts for every 10 seconds. These are the prompts we'll use to create images in Recraft. Now back in Recraft with the new project page open, let me quickly show you how to create your custom style before we begin click on the style button then select create new style here you can combine two styles for example if I select this style and click the plus button it adds it then I can add another style and blend the two together by default it's a 50 50 balance but you can use the slider to give one style more influence over the other before saving you can test the style for example let's type soldiers and click generate test image recraft will generate samples so you can preview how the style looks if you adjust the slider to make one style dominant the results update accordingly once you're happy with it click save style give it a name let's call this test and save it will now appear under my styles for future use that's how you create your custom style for this tutorial because we're trying to replicate the look of a ted ed video i showed earlier in the intro i'll be using the nature narrative illustration style i saved it earlier selected it and then pasted in the first image prompt for our opening scene right here once you've pasted in your prompt you can adjust the aspect ratio using the slider since we're creating a youtube video we'll use 16 by 9 aspect ratio i'll leave the style settings as they are if you start tweaking from simple to more eccentric it can shift the look but leaving it as is helps generate exactly what the style intends next choose how many images you want generated at once i'll select two there's also a section called negative this is where you can tell recraft what not to include for example, I'll select avoid text generation because I don't want any text showing up in the images. Then click recraft and the image will start generating. Here you can see the result, a 19th century Ottoman Empire court scene with Christian Armenians in worn clothing standing humbly before Muslim officials in lavish robes. The style captured the scene well. Now, what if you want to replicate a specific style or use a particular color palette? You can just click on color palette. Here you can either add custom hex codes or import colors directly from an image for example, I'll import from one of the TED Ed videos I grabbed earlier. Recraft automatically picks up the palette. And when I click Recraft again, it generates the same scene, but with those colors applied. If you don't like any of the generated results, just click to refresh and it'll create a new variation. I like this version, but let's say you want to keep the scene while making small changes. This is powerful. Instead of regenerating from scratch, click the button that says, select a model for prompt based image editing recraft gives you options like gpt4 flux one context pro and max if you've been following this channel you know we prefer flux context max because it maintains the quality and consistency of your images so i'll select flux context max now i'll edit the prompt slightly instead of the armenian standing i'll change it to sitting and let's see how it adjusts the scene click on recraft and it will keep the original image while generating a new variation for us as you can see here it created two images I'll go with the first one. Now, once you have your image, there are a few things you can do to fine tune it. For example, I don't want the guy in the background. Let me zoom in so you can see. To remove him, click on edit area. You can use any selection tool, but I prefer the brush because it's easier to control. Just paint over the area you want to remove, then click erase and Recraft automatically removes it. I'll run it once more just to make sure it looks clean. Perfect. Depending on the look you're going for, you might be happy with this grungy texture and export it right away. But let me show you a few more options if you want to upscale or refine the image while keeping the same structure. 
crisp upscale, select your image, click crisp upscale and recraft will sharpen and enhance it. Notice how it becomes more distinct though it slightly loses the grunginess of the original style. Creative upscale. If you want to improve finer details like fixing eyes or cleaning up small floors, use creative upscale, select the image, click it and recraft will enhance it further. Here's the result. Zooming in, you can see the eyes are now properly defined and the overall look is sharper. If this is the aesthetic you're going for, creative upscale is a great option. Before I show you how to export your images, let me quickly share one of my favorite features in ReCraft, Image Sets. Image Sets let you generate multiple images at the same time. This is especially useful when creating a story. You don't want to generate each image one by one. Having a cohesive set is important. To create one, click Image Set and a new set will appear on your board. I'll set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 since that's that's what we need for YouTube. Then I'll copy and paste the prompts that ChatGPT generated for our story. Recraft lets you add up to six prompts at once, which is really cool, pasting them in. Now that I've added all six prompts, I'll go ahead and make sure we're using the same style. I'll head to saved styles, select the nature narrative illustration, and then apply the same color palette we used earlier on the single image. Once that's selected, I'll click on recraft and the new set will start generating. As you can see, this turned out really well. Let's zoom in so you can take a closer look. If there's any specific part of an image you don't like, you can simply click on that section, make an adjustment and ReCraft will update it for you. When you're satisfied with your images, it's time to export. You can export the entire set at once as a batch or choose individual images. I usually export as PNG since it's the highest quality, then save them directly to the computer. That's how I generated all the images you saw earlier in the video. Now, once you have your images, you can animate them. I used C Dance for this project. I won't cover it here, but I've left a link in the description to my full tutorial. At this point, I had both my images and the voiceover. The next step was to put everything together. Here's the timeline I used. I imported all the animated clips along with the voiceover that ChatGPT generated. I aligned the clips with the narration, placing each scene in sync with the voiceover. I added Added transitions to keep the flow seamless, choosing ones that match the documentary aesthetic. To give the video a unique look, I added a black noise effect. For depth, I layered in background music from the audio library, choosing a track that fit the mood of a documentary. Finally, I place sound effects strategically, matching them to key moments in the scenes. Once everything was in place, I previewed the project, made sure it looked and sounded right, and then exported it in 4K resolution. And that's the full process, generating the images, animating them, syncing everything with the voiceover and producing the final documentary. Now let's watch the finished video from start to end. In the 19th century, Armenians in the Ottoman Empire lived as second-class citizens. They paid unfair taxes, were barred from testifying in court, and often faced violent attacks. When Armenian activists pushed for reforms in 1878, Sultan Abdul Hamid II refused, and instead, between 1894 and 1896, unleashed the Hamidian massacres, killing over 150,000 Armenians. But this was only the beginning. Armenians are one of the oldest peoples of Western Asia, with a homeland dating back to the 6th century BCE. By the time of the Ottoman Empire, their deep Christian identity made them targets in a Muslim-majority state. Despite thriving in trade and government, their success fueled resentment. Many Ottomans feared Armenians would seek independence. That fear became deadly during World War I. After a failed campaign against Russia, Ottoman leaders blamed Armenian treachery. In 1915, Talat Pasha ordered mass deportations. Armenian men were executed, while women and children were forced into death marches across the Syrian desert. Families were starved, abducted, and stripped of their homes. 
Children who survived were often taken to orphanages and forced to abandon their faith. By 1916, the Armenian population had plummeted from 1.5 million to just half a million. Survivors scattered across the globe, many never able to return to their homeland. To this day, the Turkish government denies that what happened was genocide. But Armenians worldwide continue to fight for recognition, so that history's silence does not become history's erasure. And that's how I used ReCraft to create a professional looking animated documentary and without spending weeks in production. If you've ever wanted to make viral educational or storytelling content that looks like it came from a studio, this tool gives you that power right from your laptop. So whether you're building a faceless YouTube channel, creating history explainers, or just want to stand out with high quality visuals, ReCraft is absolutely worth exploring. You'll find the link in the description to check it out. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more AI tools and tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.